All right, hello everyone. This is Mr. Maurer, Coffee Chug, whatever name you like to call me, and I'm here. I want to create another little video tutorial to make sure everybody understands how to use VoiceThread. It's very simple, very easy to use, and so I'll go through and show you how to log in and upload pictures in case you missed the first video, and then I'm going to show you how to record your voice onto the slides in case you don't know how to do that. So what I have up here is the VoiceThread website. Uh, it's just simply VoiceThread.com. You'll get to this page. Um, you go up here, click sign in or register, and then you go ahead and use your login information as uh, needed. So I will go ahead and use one of the accounts for our Alcoa Eagle Eye in the World project that we're using. And your teachers have access to this information if they haven't shared it with you. Um, so you follow whatever your teachers have suggested. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in with one of the student accounts that has been created. And when you get in, like we've talked about before, you have access to all 17 teams that are participating in this Eagle project to review digital citizenship. Very important that you don't mess with the other team's projects. I wouldn't even click on them or look at them. I'd focus strictly on your own so there's no accidents and so nobody loses any of their work because we've all been putting in a lot of time and effort um, to get this project going. And so I'd hate for every, anything to happen in these final stages of uh, development. So. What I want to show first is once you have this, you want to find your team. And I'll just briefly show again how to upload a picture. So say I want to use, I'm part of Team 3BM Habitat. That's, that's the team I'm with. When I want to upload an image, it's very, very easy to do. Once you're logged in here, you find your team like I've done here. And you're going to want to click this little gear that says Menu. You click there. Um, and you, then you're going to choose Edit. What that does is it's going to open up this slide here and it's going to show me all the slides to our VoiceThread account. So these are all the images that have been uploaded by students um, so far. And say I need to add another image or I need to delete one or whatever the case might be, I go over here and upload and I'm going to choose my computer and I'm going to add the image that I need. So say I want this is the image that I have. It'll go ahead and it'll upload it for me. And um, there it is. There's the next slide in the actual project. Now, wherever you save your information when you do that upload my computer, that's up to your school and your and your protocols that you use. And so mine are just saved to the desktop, um, but you might have it in my pictures or a flash drive. So you save wherever your school and teacher advises you to do so, and then you just upload it from there. So that's as simple as it is to upload images. Very very easy. Uh, so. One more time, I'll show that. You find your team, you click the gear, go to edit, upload, my computer, and then wherever, whatever it is that you need. Really easy. The next step, once we have our images up, is to then begin to record our voices. And this is what really makes the project um, sell and look really sharp, where we can actually hear everybody. And so say this is my particular image that I'm going to share my facts on. That's the school bell there, uh, so I apologize for that. What you want to do then, when you're ready to record your voice, you're going to go down to no step number two to comment. And when you do that, uh, we don't need to worry about that. I'm going to choose this comment box right here. And they give you a couple different options. One, you can use your, your webcam and record yourself visually if that's what you want to do and your, your face would actually appear over here on the side. We've got this record option, which would record to your microphone, which is probably what most of us are going to do, because I doubt um, you're going to want to show your face, because for most of you, um, that probably goes against your school account. Not that you can't, but uh, that's something you need to check in with your school and your internet guidelines. But here is the record for your audio, and you click that, and as soon as you do, all right, it's going to ask you to allow the microphone, whatever microphone you have, make sure you have a microphone and have that set up ahead of time. And as soon as I hit allow here, it's going to tell me to start talking. And so um, I'll go ahead and show that for you now. And you can see now it's recording my voice, it's recording my microphone, and whatever I'm saying right now as we speak is going to be recorded to the slide. So here it is. See, I'm done. I'm done recording my my, my facts in this ego, and I hit stop recording. And so I'm going to process. And you can see now it's recording my voice, it's recording my microphone, and whatever I'm saying right now when we speak is it. 
So you can obviously hear it. I canceled it. If it's the way you want it, you would actually want to hit save as opposed to cancel. Um, and it would automatically load it up here. So I'll show what that looks like. I'll do one here real quick. I love bald eagles. They're awesome. Especially that one hanging on that branch. So I saved my voice to this slide. You can see that it's now added my little thing here. If you want to change the avatar, feel free to change your identity. That's fine. Um, but it's going to record who I am. All right, so there's that. Then when I'm all done and I get out of this, I kind of go back to the actual thing. All right. It will go through and actually play to these slide presentations. All right, so as it goes through, and I'll merge on to the next slide here. Real quick, I love bald eagles. They're up, and you can hear it obviously. Okay, and that's as simple as it is. Let me go back in and delete my voice because nobody really wants that on their on their slide here. Real quick, I love. All right, so once again, go to record. There it is. When you're done, you hit stop. It's going to load it to your image. Make sure you speak clearly and uh, showcase what you have. That's as simple as it is, guys. If you have a webcam option, it's obviously there if you need it. And you can go back and play. Um, the last thing is make sure you introduce yourself. I would always start off, and you probably already know this, with your, with your name, first name only the school you're from, maybe what grade you're in, and then get into your information so we can really hear how impressive uh, this project has, has become because it's, it's come a long way. You guys are doing awesome work. Um, I'm really proud of the way this project is going. I'm proud of all the students involved. And uh, I can't wait to hear your voices and see how this all merges together. Best of luck. And as always, email me get a hold of me if you need help or support. Um, we're always here for you. All right, take care, and hope you found this uh, video helpful.